Hey everyone, we're back again, and we have the new Masters of the Universe, Masterverse, New Eternia, Trap Jaw. Okay, so he comes in the new box that for the Masterverse with the smaller window and the uh, artwork on the front and the sides. Really great artwork of Trap Jaw here on this side with his uh, weapons, and this side has a uh, Talon Fighter. And Castle Grey Skull, and then some fighting warriors here in the background. It looks like He Man, and maybe is that Moss Man? Possibly. Possibly. I'm not sure if that's Moss Man or some other character. But then on the front, there's some artwork here with some palace guards on the sky sleds. So it's really cool artwork. But like I said, uh, so Masterverse, the, uh, the back. That. Trap Jaw. Victory was in reach as Trap Jaw raised his cybernetic claw over Man at Arms. As He Man summoned the power of Grey Skull, Trap Jaw suddenly crossed dimensions into a shattered world, New Eternia. So the other figures in this line are Sorceress Tila, Man at Arms, and Skeletor. And we've opened up those. Three, the other three in other videos, so if you want to check those out, you can. What's that Skeletor? That is the... Is that the one with the arm? That's the Skeletor with the arm. It's the new Eternia. Okay. Um, the arm's supposed to be bendy, but it wasn't yeah, really bendy. It, it didn't bend a whole lot. Um, yeah. Alright, so we're going to open this thing up and take him out of the box. Alright, so there's some tape here. Got a piece here. Uh, got a piece over here on this side, and I'm struggling. If you haven't seen our previous videos of the castle, um, yes, the have. Origins Castle or the Bahadasaurus comparison video, um, please go uh, look look at them and um, like them if you like it, if you um, think it's pretty cool. And right. uh, now this is the one that make more videos. When so. you take him out of the box, he has the yeah, um, and it tells the weapons. The side, right? on the side and it tells you what all the contents are so he's going to come with a dagger a hook a claw his gun and then the and actual figure itself um the only one that i don't Nothing think here. will plug into him is the dagger but There's we can oh it shows you oh they do they all plug, plug in, in yes, to, the, to the end of his um cannon all right so this is all in one bag let's take these out of the packaging and see what they look like. Oh, wow. That oh, wow, dagger is bigger than I thought it was. Yeah. All right. And then the claw is pretty cool. Oh, this one is a... It's like a dinosaur. It looks more like a bear trap. And it kind of looks like Trap Jaw's lower jaw. Yeah, because it's not closing all it, the way. Yeah. So that's a that's a much cooler take well, on his cool, claw but weapon. Very effective. Um, but it also looks like a bear, uh, bear that trap on sense. that side. Yeah, a little bit of dragon. Um, little bit like I see the shape of the mouser um, jaw bit, in there yeah. too. That's a pretty cool nod. Um, then on this side we got the hook. And the dagger. The dagger is awesome. The dagger is a lot bigger than it's I like thought it, can it be was. It's a sword by itself. Yes. And then Get a close um, inside it has the little dents on it too, like it's been in battle. Inside the packaging, he has his blaster. Um, it's held in with little, the little tack, tack, tackums. And this is pretty reminiscent of the original dagger that he came with and notice it does have a hook or the blaster that he came with not dagger um it has hooks to hang it on his belt i don't know if this belt particularly has the uh what are they called little hanger areas oh uh, let's get, get this clip these are these little tackets are getting tighter on these yeah. figures. It seems like every one has a tighter clip than the last. 
All right, this one is, there's a one, be careful taking them out of the packages because there's this longer tack that's around the uh, upper arm and it will, it looks like it would cut it if you tried to pull it too hard. Uh, one of the nice features about this one is he does have a movable easy. joint. So you get a lot more range than most trap jaws have just the up and down movement. Yeah, this one do. has a ball joint. So you like got it looks like it's got a couple of ball joints in it to give you a lot more range. So he can actually cross his body with the firepower now instead of just straight ahead. Oh, uh, let's see. Does it move as easy as it looks? Yes, it does move fairly easy. It's a little bit stiff, and I, I mean think at the, the at that part. Yeah, right. It, it's it's tight enough to not be um, too loose. It looks but metal. I it, it I think it's just the it's I know, plastic. But it looks like metal. It's they just a, a good really job. good paint job on there. Yeah, they did a real good job. Um, on they that. picked some nice colors too. The hooks actually look like they'll hook on the back of his belt instead of on the sides like the original toy they're kind of more towards his back but it has it it's still close enough to the front so you don't really see the hook from the front of the figure and it looks it's very reminiscent of the way the original toy connected but you don't have that big bulking hook on the side that you used to see all the time which stood out. It doesn't stand out as bad on this one. Uh, same. Do all of them hook or just two at a time? Uh, we have a third hook at the back. So you can you get the third on? item on and the back. The and then on. put the. We'll put the knife since that's his newest weapon to me. On there. It has the cool Skeletor looking horns. Yes it does. And. It fits nicely into the, the end of his. All the cannon. It's not all the way in. There we go. It's, we tight, get, huh? it's very tight, so it's not going to just fall out. Um, now, over the hooks, depending on which hook you use, it's probably a little bit more likely that something will fall out. This one looks like it fits better there. So, these are great figures, great action. There is no hook for the... Wait, what do you mean? Oh, for There's the no sword, hook to yeah. hook. But that sword. probably just fits but in there. You could probably fit it in the. Oh, you took it out of frame. Uh, I can't see. Oh, sorry. It was. Yeah, it fits in there, adjust. doesn't it? So no, it does oh, not. No, it does not. It does not fit. It looks Mattel, like it does. You disappoint me. <laughs> this that would have been a little bit nicer feature yeah. to been able to put his dagger in his. Uh, so you'll lose that weapon probably if you open this one. Not unless yeah. you keep it in the. Unless hand you spot. keep it. Well, and it'll also fit in his hand. Oh, okay. So, it is... It, in his hand, yeah. it is... He does okay, have so multiple weapons it. now. Uh, first time, I think, Trapjaw has come with a extra weapon. The claw hand... The claw over here. Uh, the claw does not look right to me on, yeah, on this, him. Yeah, this... Oh, oh and, he just broke it. And the claw falls apart. So, it's not very sturdy. It's this is not, definitely a collector's item. Yeah. I don't think it's broken. I don't think it's broken. I think it's just loose. It's, loose. it's very loose. That piece oh, it's is not good for clamping. No, it is not good for clamping. However, is it supposed to be the other way? No, I got it. Because the teeth are all facing each other. I mean, I know that, but like oh, turned. Turn it that way. So it, uh, yeah. Don't look like you clip anything. To... Yeah, it looks like it'd be hard now to it'll clamp clip anything. See. But it's still yeah. clamp hard. Yeah. Still doesn't. So weird. Weird contraption with this many joints in the. Oh, wait, is that arm. paint on his legs metallic? The paint is metallic. It is a green metallic. That's new. Over his thighs, um, he, he does have joints. the basic joints, the double jointed yeah, knee. Basic double joint. Uh, um, what about the foot? The like ankle. Goes... Ankle is really tight, uh, and it has, it has a rocker pivot oh, on it, is. and it's got. So it's it's a pretty. Pretty decent articulation in this figure. It's very stiff, though, so be careful moving him because his hips are a little weird. He does have a thigh cut underneath the underneath his belt, if you can see that. Mm -hmm. uh, that helped. Huh? Uh, that thigh cut there is good. It gives you a lot of range of motion. 
Uh, he's got a torso crunch, but it's not a. It's, it's well hidden, and it, it's very stiff. So, okay. but I do feel like these will get hair. weaker the more they are used. He's on a pivot joint. Does the mouth move like the mouth the does one? open and close? And he has the more oh, grotesque. There in there. Yeah. The more grotesque looking mouth. He does from classics. Uh, that's. Kind of cool. And he has the eyelet on his, head. on his head, so you can hang him from a string and use a zip line. However, I do not recommend doing that because uh, the string, the thread will cut that as soft as the plastic um, is. What if you use it as a parachute hook? Like you could use it as a parachute hook. You just tie some strings and let him drop from a parachute. Oh. He cannot stand up. No. Um, <laughs> let's see. See how he does and clamping things. <laughs> it didn't work, even on a it toy. It does not even clamp. On a stuffed toy. It's, it's, <laughs> it doesn't have a way to open and close. It would have been nice if it had, had some kind of it triggering mechanism. <laughs> yeah. It's not going to hold anything. I think the mouse jaw holds it. Holds yeah, mouse better. jaw you, works. Out of frame. Mouse jaw holds better. Um, it does look nice, yes, it but it's cool. not it's functional. Very, it's very and, nice for um, be, if display, you're huh? if you're moving it around, be careful because it is very. Um, oh, oh, you just hit the camera! <laughs> sorry, I hit everyone in the face. <laughs> um, but it is very difficult to um, make that feel Let's believable. See a on there. The hook, he'll make a good um, hook story. Scraping on the side of the car when the teenager's in it. It would um, like for Halloween now. <laughs> so, and then the hook looks nice. Uh, it oh, it's, it's like a very. When it looks it like. does. I mean, it, it looks the, like it has a pneumatic. Yeah. yeah, it's would have been nice if they had given it a little bit of Movement, motion. Yeah. yeah, that would have made that hook a lot more and fun. The and the gun, the gun is blaster? this yeah, is his blaster. blaster. Um, Basically, a gun in there. Yeah, use, right. Yeah. It has a little so, scope, it looks like. It's got a scope, and... Oh, it's metallic paint on it's there. It's got the metallic paint on the that inside. That little bit of detail there. makes it so much different. Yes. It, and the Masterverse is good about having well, that. this is one of the better detailed ones I've yes. seen. Yes. Um, the belt that he wears it does come off. It has a brush, too. It has, it has a, a metallic brush on it. It's got a br metallic brush on it. Uh, the waist has a hip joint. He's got this nice metallic purple that belt kind of underneath like on it. yes and then he's got the green that he's that the toy is familiar off. with that we that has the weapon case yeah huh? um his that mouth is creepy the, the mouth is a little bit creepier oh, uh, like a mouth. and but he does have a nice metallic oh, it, it fits look in together too, the teeth, yes too. the teeth fit they lock into it, each other it, they do fit they fit very well like yeah they lock into each they're other. very very good sculpting. Better than the clamp. <laughs> yes. Sorry, clamp. Much better than the clamp. Um, I would like to have seen a little more metallic look to this helmet. Mm -hmm. um, although I like the color choices. Uh, that one's... I just feel like that that could have used a little more of a metallic sheen. Yeah. But, they didn't but, want to I take mean, away from the metal. They didn't, the and, well, and I think that they didn't want to take away yeah, from, from the, the jaw being... Like he metallic is trap jaw, yeah. so make his jaw be more metallic looking and give him more of a plain uh, helmet. Mm -hmm. uh, the armor. Oh, that looks does not sound like it comes off. Like it will not come off. It feels like it's glued. It sounded like it. Yeah, yeah, it's glued on. So do not attempt to take it off unless you're making a custom. And be very careful when you do because it does not look like it'll go back on. Uh, the arm, I would think that this arm might have, I, I, I don't, yeah, it doesn't feel like I it pops off, off, because I know that they did a, they were doing a Hordak too, so I was wondering if maybe that could be interchangeable, but it does not feel interchangeable with anything, uh, Roboto, it does look like he has the Roboto arms, uh, with the joint, with the gear on the shoulder, and the mm -hmm. double-jointed elbows. 
the wrist articulation. This one did not come with any extra hands. But it came with all the as, weapons. But it did come with all these weapons. It would have been cool to have gotten a, yeah. cl a closed fist for this side. But at least it's an open hand so you can have all of his weapons. Yeah, let him carry, uh, right carry around all of his it. weapons at one time. Oh, yeah. It does have the okay. joint. And there's a lot of metallic detail on the okay. sides, too. Yeah. So, this turned out to be a really good character. Would you recommend this one? I, read, I would recommend this one uh, okay. if you don't have a trap jaw that you particularly... It's a shame that it has all this nice detail because if you're displaying it in the box, you're not going to see any of it. Yes. The, the, that's the so, only um, thing with the oh, Masterverse. The new Master Virus boxes is the new boxes have the great artwork, but they had the details on the toy. It's almost like the Dungeons and Dragons characters. So remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And let us know what you think in the comments. And we'll see you next time.